Hey everyone, action here! In this video we'll be defending ourselves against an early game devouring swarm without building a single ship and having a crippled economy, military wise that is. It's incredible how the new meta allows us to just turtle in and tech rush. I was skeptical about it at first, but the amount of defenses and bonuses we can get is completely insane. Perhaps we can even survive the mid and end game crisis with just our choke points, so I'll be showing you everything I did in order to have a 150,000 fleet powered star base by year 50 and still maintaining our regular tech rush strategy. And if you are enjoying this, join our navy and help us build something greater. High Command has called for 2,500 new commanders to be enlisted and your skills and leadership are vital to our mission of defending the universe. So in our last video, we finished the Synth Ascension and now we have a kind of a problem, which is the shortage of Dark Matter. However, my friends, what we can do is just grab the Dark Consortium Civic after we have the Dark Matter Drawing Technology. So this is our main goal, to get that tech, reform the government and get the Civic to gain a plus 30% resources from jobs. Now, unlike other shortages, a dark matter shortage does not give you the situation which basically implodes your whole empire. Instead, you only get this minus modifier here, but it is better for us to have the dark matter engines, which give us the job efficiency bonus, than it is to not have it and also not have the negatives. So as well, plus 40% efficiency is better than minus 30% resources from jobs, if you get what I mean. And since we have a massive reduction to our build speed, ideally we wanna always be building something in our planet. This way we'll always have empty jobs and, well, if things will work out even though we have a minus 75% infrastructure build speed. And the world of a new hope has the happy capybaras. Now, imagine living here. It must be very awesome. And oh man, the infinity machine. We only got the zero point reactor technology. Uh, I wish we got the research speed modifier, but that's okay. It's a very good technology nonetheless. And we can expand our council, fantastic man. Why don't we grab a science director senior? to help us out in our research. That sounds good. And paired with that, we go ahead and launch the departmental efficiency to improve our counselor EXP and later on, even their council effective skill. Fantastic, we have the galactic administration technology now, which means we can grab another civic. Which one should we choose? That is the question. Well, I'm thinking about going with functional architecture, which is a very underrated Civic at this point. In the previous patch, it was an S-tier absolute must pick in the early game, but now it fell off completely, just because it does not grant the building slot. However, I think this will serve us just fine, since it increases our infrastructure build speed from the Civic and also from the Council position. And if we look at this, well, we don't have a very good infrastructure build speed, so it will help us out very much. And we finished the mercantile tradition. Now for our next ascension perk, I'm actually gonna wait until we either have the mega engineering technology or the arcology project. Now we are almost finishing up the anti-gravity engineering, which will grant us access to the arcology project, However, we are still in the early game, so I don't know how strong would an ecology project be at this point in the game. I don't even think we have the economy to support it, to be honest. But the mega engineering we do, we have a ruined strategic coordination center right here on the Chura 6 system. And it is especially good for one simple reason. After we repair it, we will have access to the Galactic Wonders megastructures. So yeah, it's kinda ridiculous. Imagine having a Dyson Sphere, let's say, within 50 years into the game. That sounds completely ridiculous. What we can do, my friends, is this. So now we have access to the Empire Focus. And if we shift to development, 
at tier 10 will have the guaranteed research option of mega engineering so why don't we go and do just that shift our focus to development and let's try to finish up all of these tasks so the first one is hire an official we can do just that because we have only one official so it will actually help us a little bit fantastic now yes let's see we completed it and that way we'll slowly make it progress towards our development and that's a huge technology construction templates increasing our planetary infrastructure build speed by plus 50 percent so basically with this technology we already have like no negative effects from the infrastructure build speed reduction from our shortage we are in a very good position now our only downside right now is the consumer goods because we are losing 30 per month so ideally we want to improve our trade output why don't we do this in a new hope let's sell some goods whilst we talk with some capybaras that sounds amazing oh boy and we found our first alien species so a molluscoid and they are constructing a database already on the LR system, a tomb world. So we don't have much room to expand here. Now for our next tradition, I think I'm gonna hold a little bit until we know for sure if those aliens are hostile or friendly to us. Because if they are hostile, we definitely want to have the annuity because right now we are in no position of building up a good fleet. What we are trying to do is set up some arc furnaces throughout our territory and then improve our military later on. Nah man, just as I was worried about this. The cruelty of the key aliens. So they destroyed our construction vessel man. Sorry. All right, this is not a very good indication that they are friendly. So it's a good thing that we didn't pick our tradition, because now we can focus on defending our starbases, if that happens to be the case, of a fanatic purifier empire. Oh man, look at their name, Insatiable Nurian Reveners. Nothing good can come out of it. Yeah, Devouring Swarm. Oh man, I'm so lucky in these runs. Fantastic. So thankfully we can grab the Nurin and at least have a better chance of defending ourselves. After we finish the Nurin we can even grab the Eternal Vigilance if we so desire to improve our defenses a little bit more. Because I don't know man, it's not looking good. 2.3k defensive station, not very powerful. Our first defensive measure will be to establish a spy network on these guys because, well, I really don't trust them. No one should, to be honest. And they also are subterranean, so even if we decide to conquer their worlds, it will be pretty hard. Or we can start building our deep space citadels after we research this technology. And that's gonna be very important. So another good thing to have if you are on the defensive side is always use for the technologies. Because although our ships cannot support all of these advanced components, our starbases will instantly upgrade it. And because we have the zero point reactor, well it is the best reactor in the game, with the exception of the dark matter one, so we should have pretty much energy to fuel everything that we want. Now that's bad, our president has the lowest amount of support, and he still needs 22 to overpass the Nikat Aka. Well, I think I'm gonna elect my head of research then. Yeah, that's gonna be better. And a shout out to our first founding admirals. Their financial and strategical support are fueling the non-stop expansion of our armada. Now, founding members are only available until Sunday this week because we will be starting off our first roleplay playthrough and founding members will be able to submit their custom empires so we can interact together in our first playthrough. Now, if you want to have a more proactive participation in the channel, 
channel, this might be the best opportunity for you and if you just join, you can access our Discord server, participate in our exclusive channels where we discuss some strategies and submit your empire builds there. Let's design our deep space level 1 citadel, but to be honest there isn't much we can design here. Our slots are not the most diverse ones, however we can choose one very powerful ship aura. Uh, which one? I'm gonna go with the energy weapon damage reduction because in the beginning of the game most of the defensive slots will be from armor and hull which star bases are mainly comprised of those defensive slots and energy weapons are the main source of damage for those defensive capabilities. So by reducing its damage, we are in fact improving our defenses. So let's build our deep space citadel a little closer than our starbase for only one reason. The starbase itself has much lower defensive capabilities than the deep space citadel. So having the deep space citadel tank most of the damage will actually benefit us a lot. Okay, now they are insulting us. What, what is this, my friend? You can't do that, because we're gonna just insult you back and declare rivalry. Yeah, the declaration of war. Just as I was expecting. Now, our Deep Space Citadel is still 23% completed, so it's not looking good for us here. Well, we are making contact with someone that is terrible sight to behold. We are already at war with someone, like, they completely hate us, they wanna devour us still. I don't know how they're gonna devour machines, but that's okay. Oh, let's... Oh, they're receptive. Oh my god. All right. Yeah. Not a very good decision here. Oh, good. Ah, they, they were the artisan troop. That's fine. Yeah. They don't have a negative opinion modifier because we kind of insulted them. Uh, they are very friendly with everyone. As a matter of fact, we're gonna become their patron. Just need a little bit more energy credits. There we go. Oh, they're sending their fleet. Ah, oh, man. It's gonna be a close fight. They have around 6k, our starbase has 5.8k, and our deep space citadel is 84% completed. Uh, hurry up, my guy. We kinda need it ready for tomorrow. Yeah, their ships are closing in, man. You gotta hurry, buddy. You gotta hurry. I'm reinforcing my starbase a little bit with some defensive platforms. Let's see if that helps a little bit more. 90%, man. Why don't we put it passive and let us hope that our enemies do not destroy it first. Now, what is some offense taken by the insatiable Nurian Reveners? I don't even know why we have an envoy improving relations with them. Or actually not improving relations but doing anything their empire. I mean, they stopped moving their fleets, thankfully. I don't even know why. But that will give us time to finish the Deep Space Citadel. Yeah, precisely. 11k. Now there is no way they can penetrate our borders now. So we are safe. Well, our spine network on the insatiable revenants has shown us that they are pathetic in terms of technology and inferior in terms of economy. As expected, right? What are those subterranean savages gonna do to us? Nothing. They just froze. As a matter of fact, why don't I insult them instead? Greetings! <laughs> now you gotta be kidding me. Greetings from a devouring swarm after we insulted them. Okay. <laughs> I guess it's a, like a bipolar devouring swarm. Well, now we finished the unyielding tradition, and why don't we grab the Eternal Vigilance Ascension perk? Now, this is gonna make our star bases completely unpenetrable. They are already very, very strong, but now, oh boy. And every six months, a defensive platform will be built around every star base. However, I don't recommend you maintain this option, but instead, shift it towards half spending, so it will only build defense platforms around bastion star bases. This way you don't have like, let's say here on Liren, we could have 12 defensive platforms for no reason at all. If we choose that option, it will build around every star base, including star posts. 
But with this one, it's gonna be only our defensive choke points. And as for our next tradition, what we wanna do is reduce our researcher's upkeep because right now we are suffering heavy losses from our consumer goods and by going discovery we will also have plus 10% research speed which is kinda good. Uh, I don't think this event has accounted for the new pop system. Oh now it does. What? No, it doesn't one pop and the other one said 100 pops all oh, right that's a little bit bugged yeah we only lost one pop in the end fantastic and we can hire Jin. Ah, she's quite good especially as a defensive admiral because she has minus 33 percent army collateral damage which means that whenever you are defending your planets your armies won't die very often and they will also not destroy the entire planet whilst defending it and they want to sign a peace offer <laughs> how pathetic so after i think it was what two decades of war they settled status quo without even trying to invade our borders so yeah but to be honest we have a 54,000 military station combined with a 20k star base so it's not a very easy system to invade especially 50 years into the game i don't know how the matter will develop this way because well, man it is quite easy to be well defended nowadays and that is without even upgrading our deep space citadel to level 3 and our star base and our star fortress as well so we have literally zero ships in our empire and we still manage to win a war against a devouring swarm that's kind of ridiculous to be honest now nah, yeah man just look at this 123,000 fleet power in a single defensive station. If we combine both of our star bases, we have around 150k at only year 55 into the game. And we could even expand this by building another deep space citadel in the same system. So yeah, it gets kinda insane. This is not even our full potential, but we have no real need of building another defensive station because no one can even come close to this amount of fleet power. So yeah everyone, this new turtle meta gets kinda insane and it enables you to tech rush without having to worry much about your neighbors. In this case we had a devouring swarm, very aggressive as our first encounter and we still managed to survive it although we had a total of zero ships so yeah it, it is very very fun nowadays to just throw in tech rush and that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video everyone and as always i will see you guys next time